Yes. You can go now to the Flying Fish Company to enjoy some delicious seafood. So we have Leaf, the owner of the Flying Fish Company, also the chef, all the things. Have you guys done Portland Dining Line before? No, brand new. Because brand this new is the first the... time you guys have your own like brick and mortar, that's right? right? That's right. We have grown up and uh, put our big boy pants on and girl <laughs> pants on yeah. for that matter. We've got both uh, working for us. So we were so excited. We have a full hood. So we we're doing fish and chips and doing steam clams yes. and mussels and um, all the yummy fish sandwiches and yummy stuff to go along with it. How has it been since you guys opened your store? Have people been loving it? Oh my in? gosh, it, it, it hasn't, there, <laughs> Their words are not even in my mouth because it's been amazing, truly. It's been a blessing, um, a dream, and it's been super busy, well received in the neighborhood and in the community. So we're so happy. Well, congratulations. Thank and you. we are excited that now you are participating. You're one of the over 130 restaurants doing uh, Portland Dining Month with yeah. Travel Portland. Yeah. So for three, $33. You get three courses. What do you get at Flying Fish? Yeah, so we're doing um, either grilled oysters or raw oysters for the first course. And then the second course, you get to choose either a Dungeness Crab Louis salad. Whoa. Or uh, the local albacore fish and chips. And then on the third course, you can either choose the curried mussels, which I brought a sample of here tonight, Whoa. or a steamed clams dish that we're also doing. So you get a wide range of stuff. And then I just had to bring some of our clam chowder and some of my family recipes, smoked salmon and stuff. But we should what? probably eat an oyster too. Totally. Yes. So yeah, I know. You said you're ready to shuck. Yes. You have brought it. So and this everything? is a little mignonette, a um, little bit of lemon goes on the oysters. Well, or that's how I like it. A little bit of lemon, lemon and mignonette on there. Do you like it a little bit bigger, or a little bit smaller? Uh, I don't know. Go big or go home. It's Monday night. Go sure, I'll it. go with this Cheers one. To you. Cheers. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Portland Dining Month. So this is a local Neat Tarts Bay oyster, um, nice and briny. This is actually the That's best so time of year to eat oysters. They're the really? most plump. They're just amazing. The water's nice and cold. Um, just phenomenal. How'd you like it? That's so delicious. I Yay. feel like you guys at home maybe got a little slurping sound effect. So a little. Um... If if they could only like <laughs> smell and exactly. taste exactly. Now you just smell TV. it. How you have to go to Flying out? Fish, yeah, of course. That's true. So, have, do people, okay, if they haven't tried an oyster, yes. why should they give oysters a chance? Or maybe they think, they're weird, I don't want to try them. You know, I would <laughs> say that a lot of people will try an oyster in like a bar when it's in the shot glass, like a shooter is what they call it. Mm -hmm. And that's a much inferior oyster. It's <laughs> in a jar, it's not like raw, uh, right out of the half shell um, like this is. So the oyster that we're doing, um, dealing with here came straight out of the Neat Tarts Bay. You shuck that top shell off of it, so the water, the brine that's in there is the water from the bay where they came from. Whoa. So just a little bit of lemon, um, and then the mignonette is champagne vinegar and shallot and a little bit of pepper. So it adds a little bit of, um, contrast of balance in the flavor in your mouth from all that salinity from the from the ocean water. Um, you've got some acid from the champagne vinegar. It's just a little bit of that on there. Slurp it back, couple chews and swallow it down. And you get, it's like swimming in the ocean. You just get a little bit of salt water yes! in your mouth and it's delicious. <laughs> and then speaking of the ocean, you guys are, you have a very sustainable seafood mission. So you want the ocean and everything in the ocean to be happy while you guys are serving the delicious food, right? Absolutely, it's really important where your fish is coming from, the seafood, uh, for example, oysters and clams and mussels are really healthy for the environment. They help to take nutrients out of the water, whereas what? as humans in agriculture, we have a lot of nutrients going into the water. So um, it's really important to eat sustainable seafood, be mindful of where it's coming from, ask the questions, and kind of be a pain in the butt when, you, <laughs> when it's at a restaurant and you're ordering something that just says, salmon, be like, no, where is that salmon from? And tell me a little bit more about it, because then if you're more of a pain in the butt, then the chef's going to be making better choices with yes. what they're buying for. And then that's just better for our environment. As, yeah, I know? love that. that and if you sense, don't right? want to ask the questions, you just go to Flying Fish that's right. Seafood Company, which is, you can find all the info at flyingfishportland.com. They're over on East Burnside at their brand new location doing Portland Dining Month. And you can know you can be lazy, don't ask the questions, and just eat the delicious seafood. You can depend on me to do the homework, <laughs> yes, but if you're not you. anywhere around me, then make sure you're asking the questions. Yes, thank yes. you very much. That oyster was so good.